Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Garrett Spaghetti Manetti. What's the intro? What am I supposed to say again? <laughs> Cut that. What's up everyone? My name is Garrett Spaghetti Manetti. I'm 33 years old, originally from Los Angeles, California. Sometimes when people ask me what I do, I say I'm a tap dancer. After a couple of changes of plan, uh, a drive all the way through the night from Austin to Houston, a couple of mechanical delays, and I'm finally on my flight from Atlanta back to, to New York to get some more footage and to see my girls. Catch you in New York. My love, were you just taking a nap? Were you taking a nap? Was that, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Uwe Love is showered or bathed and is in her room with my wife right now. This is shake the bottle. Um, and I'm whipping up a little bit of dinner. So, uh, gonna rock a little, uh, throw in some chicken to bake in the oven real quick. I'm gonna do, we're gonna do a little, uh, uh, I guess I'm gonna call it a Pittsburgh style salad. My wife is from uh, the Pittsburgh area, and I guess they put french fries on their salad up there. So I'm gonna crisp up a little bit of bacon, some turkey bacon actually. I got some potatoes that I'm gonna cut fry style and fry up in the pan uh, with some olive oil and garlic and some seasoning, and uh, see how that turns out. <laughs> I mean, they do this funky thing on the fruit. This, this is why I need to be on the academy. So I can really learn these techniques because I'm just copying at this point. Perfect timing. For stock later. I think it's wasted in the kitchen. Um, and I'm sorry. This is why. This is why we're gonna get on the show because we're real here in the Manetti house. I just do a light covering, like it doesn't need to be crazy. A little dressing goes a long way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut up the fries and everything. So here's our chicken Pittsburgh salad with apples, carrots, celery, chicken thigh that we baked in little spice blend, some honey for sweetness. Tony Sacheries, garlic, salt, some honey. See how the, the dressing really spreads out when you get a good chop and a good mix? Boom, boom, boom. Cooking, when you grow up in an Italian family, comes along with the, the territory. You know, I remember being four years old in the kitchen with my mom and my grandma mixing meatballs. That's the first. You know, that's the first job that you got. You know, and then you shape in the meatballs and as you go along, you graduate, you, you become the sauce stirrer, which is very important because you can't let those tomatoes burn. So I'd be standing up, you know, on a, on a chair, like just with a spoon, just going. Cooking was like a family activity. You know, everyone was in the kitchen. There was music playing, there was, you know, laughing, joking. It was just time spent together. It's a lot of good times. When my parents got divorced, that kind of, that time kind of went away. 
it wasn't until a lot later, honestly, in my career, when arts high school uh, in Orange County, I graduated, went to UCLA. Uh, for music, for musical theater. Emphasis on American musical theater, minor in dance. I ended up dropping out, went on the road, a tap dance company. From there, I went to a couple different shows. I did the National Tour of Broadway Swing. I did the National Tour of Broadway 42nd Street. Fast forward a couple more years. I myself in Branson, Missouri. I'm doing a show with Carol Lawrence. Carol is the original Maria. West Side Story on Broadway. She originated the role. She she always she calls me Face, Angel Face. It's like her little pet name for me. She say Face, how you doing? You know I'm cooking I'm cooking a big, uh, you know dinner for a bunch of the other celebrities that had you know shows or theaters in Branson, Missouri, and I don't have a sous chef. You know you're Manetti, my Italian. I can only I, I need an Italian person that I can trust. You know, how many people can say they've cooked lasagna for Frank Sinatra, her love and zest for being Italian and, and, and the food and her all of her family recipes with the people that she works with. And I just really fell in love with that idea. And from, from after that point, I started, I kind of took that and, and wanted to make it my own. And, um, you know, started getting back into the kitchen and, and Telling people, yo, come over, let's let's cook, let's kind of get that 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 family that that time in the kitchen again uh, that I remember from my childhood. This restaurant, the first idea for a restaurant that I ever had was uh, like a supper club, like old school, like Ricky Ricardo, I Love Lucy style, like band leader, live band, nice table setting. You know, I'm not just gonna you know, schlep on through. You know, you're gonna put on a nice suit. You're gonna take your lady out. You know, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna come in. I like that. I'm stealing that from you. You're gonna leave your cell phone at the door. One of my pet peeves is being at you know a restaurant. You go to a restaurant, any restaurant these days. You take a look up and you look out and you see groups of people sitting together. You see couples sitting together and they're at the same table. Everyone at the same table. Everyone looking down at their phone. No, no, no. Food like dance is a live experience. It is passed down from live person to live person and it is enjoyed by live people. And that moment that you get to, you know, to just sit, enjoy, interact. Oh man, this is so good. This reminds me of that time when my mama made this. You know, it, like almost going to, it sounds cheesy, but to quote that, that, that Disney movie, Ratatouille. The moment at the end where the the, uh, the 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 critic takes that bite and you know whipped back in his head to that moment when he was a kid, like man, I got chills just talking about it. That's that's what it is. And I want you know when you're when you're at a, a table, when you come to my restaurant, you're gonna have those experiences. You're gonna have those memories, and you're gonna be creating new ones right there in the moment. Good music, somebody singing. Hey, my lady, would you like to come up? Why don't you come take a dance with me? We're gonna leave this here for a second. Ah, 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 you know, heaven. I'm in heaven. And my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna be the whole thing. So it's not just about the plate of food. It's about what goes around it, how it got there, and the experience and the time spent. All right, Garrett. Yo. We're gonna do a little speed round. I want your answers. Ready? All right. Chicken, fish, or steak? Chicken. Vanilla or chocolate? No. New York or LA? <laughs> I mean, home's LA, but I live in New York and I love both, so, but I gotta rock for home in LA. Beer or wine? Wine. Fortune or fame? Fame. Bobby Flay or Guy Fieri? Guy Fieri. Is Gordon Ramsay a dick? Absolutely. If you had to pick one, either no food or no sex for the rest of your life. <laughs> no sex. So where are we at in the process right here? What? This is, uh, this is actually spaghetti gravy that I made for, um, <laughs> I made after the first casting. And uh, I got my cutlets in the oven fried off, 
sauce cheese cutlets, sauce cheese cutlets, sauce cheese cutlets, uh, all the way up to the top. I'm gonna throw it in the oven at 350 till it's just bubbling and oozing goodness, and then stick a fork in it and it's done. That's what it is. This, op this show represents a, a, a major opportunity for me. Um, the show is a chance to switch gears. You know, I'm, I've been dancing and, and teaching. You know, I have a, co a couple companies of my own and I travel to do choreography. I've been judging dance competitions for the last several years. So uh, everything's contingent kind of on being on the road and also when you can, when you can gig, when you book the job. So transitioning into something that could be more steady, like with a food truck, for example, every day I could be out. Every day I could be out rocking the lunch shift. I could be rocking the dinner shift. Every day I could be bringing some income in to support my family. This show and, and, and winning this show represents the opportunity of, of being able to be home with my family. My culinary background is pretty straightforward, traditional Italian. Both of my, my parents are from the Philadelphia area. My father's family, the Manetti side, uh, is specifically from the South Philadelphia area, the, the Italian section of the city. Um, so my background comes pretty straightforward from recipes that I, that I learned, learned out of the Manetti family cookbook. Uh, this was all of my grandmother's recipes that after she had passed, my aunt had gathered together. She gathered recipes from friends of the family, people that knew my grandmother and were very close with her, and typed up all of these, you know, these golden gems of, of Italian goodness and put it into a book. And it is actually the wedding present that you receive when you uh, marry into the... Wanting to combine food and dancing and, or food and entertainment just seems like a natural progression. I think creating Spaghetti Minetti's Dinner Theater on Wheels is the perfect progression in my life right now. Um, I love food. I love to perform. Having a food truck as a place where I could do both and share both of those things with people, I mean, you don't get a better opportunity. The right people's at the right time, the right place, the right time. Timing is so important. And um, I feel that it's finally gonna be my time. And you have 30 seconds to sell yourself to get on this show. What do you say? You don't have anyone like me. I, um, I bring a different energy, a different flavor, a different perspective, a different talent, a different set of skills than anybody that you have on your network. I am the tap dancing chef. I'm gonna cook you a meal, I'm gonna sing you a song, I'm gonna do you a dance, I'm gonna entertain you from top to bottom. And you are gonna go away remembering me and who I am, wanting more, and waiting for that next opportunity to come and be in my kitchen and eating some of the best food that you've ever laid your fork on.